At the Texas Capitol today, Governor Greg Abbott discussed potential new laws and how to fix existing laws following the deadly El Paso shooting rampage. Our political reporter Jack Fink, the only North Texas TV reporter at the Capitol today, he's joining us live. Jack. Well, Doug, for four hours today, Governor Abbott met with tech giants, law enforcement agents, mental health experts, and those on both sides of the gun control issue. They discussed whether to enhance the state's domestic terrorism law and whether to establish background checks for gun purchases between strangers. We need to take whatever action needs to be taken to make sure that our state is going to be safe for all members of our community. At the first of his roundtable discussions to prevent mass shootings, Governor Abbott Thanks vowed you. action. The governor said one area they're looking at is the situation of the El Paso shooter's mother, who called Allen police concerned about her son's assault rifle. Because he bought it legally, nothing could be done. Is there some new type of strategy that we can have that would lead to welfare checks when issues like that are raised? The governor also wants to fix flaws in existing red flag laws and background checks to keep guns away from dangerous people. Among those at the meeting, Democrats who represent El Paso, including Representative Mary Gonzalez. I'm confident that some of the things we talked about, particularly on enforcement of currently existing laws, are going to be evaluated. I spoke with the head of Texas DPS, Colonel Stephen McGraw, and the special agent in charge of the Dallas FBI, who both say they've responded to the evolving threat. We're focused very heavily on racially motivated violent extremists, homegrown violent extremists, and those people are here in our communities, and our biggest challenge to that is, is going to be detection. We put more DPS special agents on those task forces, also to stand up the DPS domestic terrorism teams, which we've done, that are multidisciplinary to support the JTTFs, because there is so many leads, and all of them have to be followed up on. And those JTTFs that he mentioned are the Joint Terrorism Task Forces that have been in place for years. Governor Abbott will hold his next roundtable discussion one week from today in El Paso and promise to propose solutions soon after. Live at the State Capitol, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.